I would wear this out. Like she's giving a look, she's giving a vibe. Y'all know how I feel about the 70s. I can't hide it. Like at, at this point, it's just, it's obvious. Hey y'all, what's up? It's Jessica. Welcome back. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Please don't throw tomatoes, okay? I know I have not been here in a minute. I'm sorry. I've been trying to be present by, you know, posting shorts and different things like that. Um, I'm more active on Instagram than YouTube because right now with my lifestyle, y'all, it has been kind of difficult to really get these long form videos out. And I like doing long form videos, just the time and my lifestyle right now with the kids. It's just harder to have quality, just quiet time to get those type of content out. But I asked you guys, you know, what do you prefer? Do you like shorts? Do you like long form videos? And majority of you guys said you like long form videos but today the kids are gone for a few hours so i was like let me hurry up and give the girls what they've been asking for which is hair videos even though this wig is not new she's new to me so that's all that matters all right so let's dive into the video so i decided today i was going to review the outre julian wig because i was on amazon like every other girl is past the hours of 12 a.m i don't know why we do that but we do while i was there i found this wig and i was like oh my gosh she's so cute but before i buy her i'm that girl who will literally for hours go on youtube and watch every single review of this wig just so i can get a feel of the look like seeing it in real life really does help me figure out if that wig is right for me i get to see the texture the shine the quality and all of that stuff how she moves that is important so after watching countless videos about this wig i decided you know it's for me it's for me you guys know i love big hair so here she is right here this is the outre julian wig and i believe there are two versions of this wig this one is the more medium length wig and then there's a julian who's like i believe 24 inches or maybe a little bit longer i'm not sure but i'm not that girl <laughs> i am a mid-length like this for me is too long i just didn't cut her because every wig i get i cut her and i'm trying i'm trying not to do that this time so this is julian in the color number two and i think she is gorgeous she's reminding me of the sensational leticia wig that you guys love and adore listen that has to be my jam i love the out the sensational letitia wig she's kind of reminding me of her just with a little less volume and the texture is just slightly more silky this is like more of a real silk press yakky ish whereas letitia is more of a maybe one pass She's a one passer. This is giving you three passes. But I think she's super cute and I did style her and I, I'm gonna post that one to Instagram because so many of you guys love this type of look and this look is bomb, okay? This is like, this is this is low key the Jessica look. I'm gonna I'm a claim it. I'm gonna claim this is the Jessica look because it just gives me everything and more that I feel like this embodies my style. Um, and I love me some big hair, okay? I did not do much to this wig. Literally, I just brushed her out and she does come, the difference between her and the Letitia and the reason why I'm comparing them is because they do have similarities, but this one just has more layers where I didn't have to go in and cut as many layers. She kind of already comes in that layered look. I just cut maybe an inch this much. I literally have the piece right here. This is all I cut, if you can see that. And that's just for the bang and like what is this really not that much hair but she kind of just goes into place Letitia does blend more with my leave out I will say that versus Julian but that's only because I really didn't go in and in and really straighten my hair like that I did like a one passer and that's what you get when you get one pass so it may seem a little frizzy there but who cares listen if you have texture hair the perimeter of your hair is not always going to be laid and i'm just not that girl to care if you guys have been on my channel for any amount of time you know that my edges just always are just frizzy and that's just what it is but i wanted to show you first her color number two because she is styled and how she looks and of course i left my leave my leave out I left my leave out out. Does that make sense? I left my hairline out, you guys. I haven't been here in a while, excuse me. And I think it looks really cute. Let me know what you guys think. I think she looks cute. Can't go wrong with a color number two. You just can't. Okay, so this is Julian in this gorgeous golden blonde. Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. I'm a little nervous though, but we're gonna rock her out. This is the color DR4 Golden Honey Blonde. Here's the stock card right here. I'm sure you guys have seen this a million times because like I said, this wig is literally not new. Okay, so the specs on this wig, she's a fully hand tied 13 by six inch lace wig. So let's show you how much lace 
she actually gets. Here is the inside of the wig. As you can see, it's a deep middle part. So that gives you, um, not even so much middle part, just a deep like centered lace. So it gives you versatility to wear it either in the middle, on the side, forward, like you can move her around and you won't see any tracks. And it does give you somewhat of a realistic, I'm gonna say somewhat, cause it's not really realistic, like the hairline, like the baby hairs, the hairline. It's a little thick, so you might have to go in and pluck. But, see here's the thing when you're just lazy, okay? It comes in handy at times. I don't like wearing lace. I wanna say it's 50% because I'm lazy and I don't wanna to have to bother trying to lay it down and match and all that. Like, I don't feel like doing that. And then the other part of me is, I just like the look that your own hairline gives versus the lace. Let me say this, if I'm wearing like a human hair, like straight unit, then I'm gonna wear the lace, you know, because my I'm not gonna straighten my hair to the bone to get it to match. But with these textured synthetic wigs, which they have come a long way and have improved so much, um, I like to just wear my hair out in the front it just for me it just that's just how I like to wear my wigs I feel like it looks more natural um, like look it just looks a whole lot more natural and I don't like fussing with trying to make the lace like I don't I don't like fussing with lace this wig also comes with an adjustable band which when does synthetic wigs start doing this because I only have human hair wigs that do this so kudos to Altre for actually doing this I don't know if any other brands have done this because I haven't tried every single wig on the market but I love the fact that it has this adjustable brand this band because small head girls like we exist we're here okay and we want our wigs to fit too so I'm glad that it has that because it's gonna give me a snug fit and then it also has your standard two combs on the side and one in the back but I'm excited to get this color this color in my head y'all because it's summertime it's warming up we want to spice up our hair a little bit with some color and I think blonde is the way to go they do have more fun I'm just saying since I'm gonna be wearing this behind my hairline I'm just gonna go ahead and already tint my lace but when I mean tint I color mines with like a dark hairspray um, this is just by L'Oreal L'Oreal this is their magic root cover-up because I'm not trying to match my skin I'm trying to match the root of my hair so this is gonna be dark and I just spray the lace just just like that it's really simple and I do this to all of my wigs that I wear behind my hairline Okay, so the wig is on, and I'm not gonna lie, I, I, I like this color. <laughs> I like this color, not the style, but I like the color. So let's see what we're gonna do here. So I'm thinking I'm literally gonna do the same style that I did with the other wig, because I just wanna see how that looks in a blonde color. Okay, now I'm just kind of blending in my hairline with the wig. I wish I would have curled my, like if I would have curled my leave out, that would have been a better option. But you know what, it is what it is right now. Let's go ahead and brush this wig out, just to see what we could do with this. I love how smooth this wig is. Like she is literally easy to brush out. No snags, no tangles. Thinking I wanna cut a little bit of this front. Just a little. Like to right here. Okay, I'm gonna just fluff her out, like shake her out, loosen the curls a little bit. All right, you guys, this is how she is looking so far. I'm trying to I'm trying to work her out. <laughs> She's getting a little little frizzy. I noticed that when the wigs are in colors, the texture tends to be a little bit more drier and a lot more frizzy. So, trying to get her to behave is a little little challenging. But I do love this color. I think the color is gorgeous. I'm just trying to work out this the styling, like trying to see what style works best. These curls are a whole lot looser than if you were to compare her to the Sensational Letitia wig. Like this curl is a lot looser than that wig. So I'm not sure if I want to, if I really want to go in and cut because it's just going to fall and look choppy and it's not gonna give me that same effect that the Letitia wig did. But I think she's a cute wig. I just need to work this style out with the blonde. I kinda wanna get rid of this, but I'm afraid to cut it because I don't think it's going to behave. But let's just, let's just try it. Let's try it. This bottom part. 
and I'm not gonna go ham because I have a feeling she's not going to cave because that's a little better but she's definitely easy to brush out okay so I'm not mad at what we have going on so far I mean this is definitely a brown girl friendly blonde depending on your undertone but like if you have a golden yellowish undertone like me this is the perfect blonde for you i really like this y'all i would wear this out like she's giving a look she's giving a vibe y'all know how i feel about the 70s i can't hide like at, at this point it's just it's obvious of course i'm here for her because a she's she's giving layers she's giving volume she's giving me 70s and all of the above i'm in love i love how soft textured this wig is although i did mention that when you do dive into the colors the texture slightly shifts into a more drier feel and does tend to get a little bit more frizzy but i guess even when your hair is like human hair is processed it tends to do that too so i guess whenever you're trying to achieve color you're gonna run into that. I think this is super cute, y'all. Like, I feel like Charlie's Angels. I feel like one of Charlie's Angels. That's what, mm. I feel like, with, I don't know if the camera is doing the shade justice. So I did turn down my exposure just a bit. And I don't know if that helps any, if it looks more true to color. But either way, I'm digging this. I think this is cute. This is like night out hair. And you can just take your hands and fluff her at the roots if you just need some added volume. But look, even blending my hairline, like I didn't even really straighten, straighten my hair, I just kind of smooth her out a bit. And I love the fact that my hairline blended so well with the wig because the wig had the dark roots. So yeah, you guys, overall, I really do enjoy and love this wig. I think it is super cute. So if you are looking for, if you've been looking for Letitia by Sensational and just have not been able to get your hands on it, this is definitely like a better alternative um, I love Letitia, that's like my jam, okay? But I be wearing her a lot. So I'm glad that I found her sister, who is by Altre, the Julian wig, because she gives me so much life. She's super cute, she's fluffy, she's airy, she's bouncy, she's voluminous, she's feathered, she's all that goodness. All right, you guys, so that is all. I'm so glad that I was able to get this video out, and I want you to let me know which one of these colors was your favorite. Um, did you prefer number two or are you daring in like this this blonde action that I'm serving and also let me know what other wig reviews would you like or what other wigs would you like for me to review I do I did order like a couple of wigs that should be coming in so I do have those videos coming but yeah I missed you guys and if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up and if you missed me being here on YouTube and also subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet and I'll see y'all in my next video bye